Hey friends, thanks for tuning in. Chris here. Just showing you what I'm doing today with the Massey Ferguson MF50E Industrial Backhoe. I am going to be skidding some Doug fir logs up this hill just a tad up to my wood splitter and then hopefully if I get some time I'll buck them up. Um, these logs are pretty heavy. There was a contractor that came up here working for the utility company and they had a giant skidder up here with three three quarter inch cable and chokers skidding these logs up to the hill where they're at now so they got to be pretty heavy I'd imagine they're at least six thousand five six thousand pounds somewhere on there if I had to guess uh, they have been sitting on the ground for almost a year so hopefully some of that moisture left and uh, they're a little easier to move now all right really appreciate everyone for tuning in if you could hit that like subscribe and the share and bell icon i sure would appreciate it let's get into it Alrighty friends, I'll show you what we have here. These are the log. Pretty much just roadside logging. Freaking. That's massive. <laughs> yeah, I doubt I'm gonna get that big one to move. I'm gonna start with the easy one. Try to get the smaller one out of here. And then I might try to get this one right here but we'll go with this one first it's a shame that i gotta process these into firewood but i just i don't have any uh projects for lumber right now so i hate to have it go to waste it's gonna start rotting soon if i don't get to it so alrighty let's get into it
we got the small one out of there. Now I can, I don't know if I'll be able to get that small one out of there. Might be bound up by this heavy log. It might be smarter to leave it there so I can get the big log out without it getting wedged. I think we found a couple more small logs. All right. Alrighty friends, just giving you a quick recap. I don't have much space to be going back and forth right now with the backhoe. Once I get these logs stacked up right here, I won't be able to get by. So I'm gonna buck this up and roll the rounds out of the way, that way I have more space and uh, get as much as I can get in here. And I need to fill up this basket over here that I made pallets. Right there fill that up and I can't plug up this area right now because if I get a wood delivery this is my seasoned wood right here that I need to get rid of so I can work on this pad and get a little better drainage there so I gotta try to keep this open right now I'm just almost done with this spot I'm about to run out of space already I have a MS steel 291 that'll be using the buck this up right now. I do have a bigger saw on 066 clone that'll rip right through this, but I have to um, put a lick on it first, and I don't have it on me, so 
The 291 has a sharp chain on it right now, semi-sharp. I've already cut almost a cord with it, but uh, I didn't hit any rocks, so it's pretty good. All right, let's get into it.
well. It did not like that. It did get it out. I didn't know how to split at the top. That's that's real heavy. But if I can get that one out, I can definitely get these two out, I'm pretty sure. Now, the tree service company, a lot of the time the arborists, they'll leave a big nub because when they're cutting the wood up in the, way up in the heights, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to get that branch down safely. So a lot of the times they leave these big nubs. So it's not good for firewood or skidding because it's just gonna, it's just gonna bite on the ground right there and you won't be able to get any movement out of the log because it's going to get stuck so I usually cut these down all the way that's the difference between loggers and arborists you know, loggers will keep this nubs down so it'll be a lot easier okay I'm going to go get a chainsaw I don't think the little 291 is going to be too happy but that's all I got right now hey friends I just wanted to tune in real quick here uh, you never want to buck on the downhill side of a log. It's it's very dangerous. It's more dangerous than fallen trees. Um, when I was bucking this log right here, I didn't go all the way through the wood. I left some wood on there. And then I went to the other side of the log and finished my cut. So always make sure if you are on the downhill side of the log to make sure you leave enough wood and then go to the other side and then finish cutting your wood in case that log rolls down the hill it won't roll over you
Alright, that worked. Hey friends, thanks for making it if you made it this far into the video. We're all done with this. This will be part one and then part two will be splitting and bucking the logs up. Um, everything went pretty smooth. Uh, probably should have cut these logs a little smaller, but I uh, kind of wanted to show the audience what the backhoe could do. And I got these log prongs from Tractor Supply. I had to order them online. And they are just designed to pick up the log. They're not made for skidding. So I should probably get some separate log tongs for skidding that just have two points instead of four points because you can obviously see the four points. They're not really meant to leverage like that. That's why it bent. But they're still working. I've skidded quite a few logs with them and they're only a couple hundred bucks. Alrighty. Really appreciate it. We'll see you on part two.